Rather than simply being a visual representation of your brand, animated logos either explain the nature of your business or visually represent your company name. An animated logo is a way to express your industry knowledge and show a depth that a static logo just can't. They can be used in marketing and advertising to create a connection with your target customers. Animated logos help bring your business to life by creating an immediate lasting image of your brand in the minds of your current and future customers. You will stand more chance of distinguishing yourself from the swatches of content out there if you have an animation to attract your audiences. So today we will be creating a very nice and minimal logo animation in After Effects without using any third party plugins. And if you are a beginner in After Effects, if you are just getting started with After Effects then this tutorial is going to be just perfect for you. I'm Nikhil from Dope Motions and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition which we will be keeping it as 9020 by 1080. Make this 30 FPS. 10 seconds should be good. Call this main comp. Hit OK. So this is our main comp. Let's create one more composition, which we will name it as the logo placeholder. Where we can drag and drop any logo that we want to use for this uh, animation. And for the height and width, I'll make this 600 by 600 pixels. Hit OK. And then you can drag and drop in your logo. I'm going to use my logo scale this down so that it fits the composition maybe something like that align it into the center if you don't see this align tab you can anytime go into windows and just you know click on this icon there we go let's create one more composition which is going to be our reverse logo comp so i'll call this r underscore logo hit ok drag in the logo comp or logo placeholder composition into this Hit S to bring down the scale properties, unlink this and I'll set this to minus 100. Okay. Now let's create one more composition for our icons. So I'll call this icon underscore 01. And for the width and height, I'll make this 300 by 300 pixels and hit OK. I have logos of After Effects, Illustrator, Audition and Photoshop. You can of course use any kind of icons that you want. So if you have a gaming logo, then you can use some gaming icons as well. Just to give you guys an example. So I'll just align them into the center. Now you can see the size is not proper. So I'll hit S, unlink this and maybe I'll just stretch this to around 103 and that should fit. Yep, that looks good. So there we have our icon. I'll go to around one second. Let's select the icon and hit S to bring down the scale properties again. Make sure it's linked up and I'll set this to around 20%. Okay, create a keyframe on the scale. Go to two seconds and set this to 100. Oh, I'll set this one to 100 so it fits properly. So now we have a pretty simple animation. Let's select the keyframes, hit F9 to ease, ease the keyframes, go into the graph editor. Now, if your graph editor doesn't look like this, then make sure to right click and select edit speed graph. And I'm gonna bring the time indicator into the center and create a peak just like so by dragging the handle holding shift. So it's gonna help us to get that really nice snappy motion. So if I play this, you can see we have some nice and interesting motion for our scale property. Okay. Now what I can do is we have the icon one composition. Let's duplicate this before, before that I'll create a folder. I'll call this icons and drag the icon one into that. And now I can duplicate this. So I have four icons. I'm going to create more three copies. So hit control D three times. There we go. Let's select all the icons and double click to open them up. I'll go do the second one and all I need to do is select the logo or the icon that I have, then go into assets, select the second icon that I want to use, hold alt and drag and drop it. And it's going to replace the icon with the icon that you selected from the project panel. So it's pretty simple. I'm going to do this for every icon. I'll select the audition one, hold alt and drag and drop it. Select the fourth one for this. I'll use the Photoshop, 
hold alt and drag and drop it so there we go there we have it pretty simple now one thing that i forgot to do is i want to add some gradient on this not a gradient actually a fill basically so let's select this layer hit um, control space to launch up our fx console or you can simply go into you know effects and preset and type in fill then you should get that but now if i animate the fill opacity it animates the complete opacity of the layer and we don't want that so what we can do is let's set this to 100 go into the properties of the fill and click on this icon which says composition composition option so i'm going to click on plus and now we have an effect opacity so now you can animate just the fill so for the color i'll actually set this to zero and select the color from the photoshop outline and at one second i'll set this to zero create a keyframe go to zero actually and set this to 100 so now we have something like that but i think i want the keyframes to animate from one to two seconds so i'll just select i'll just go to two seconds select the keyframes and drag them holding shift so that it snaps in then select the keyframes and hit f9 to easy, easy so now we have something like this pretty simple and this is the same thing i want to do on all the icons so what what i can do is hit u so we can see just the keyframes go right here at one second select the fill control c to copy it go to icon 3 go to one second control v so the animation doesn't get affected all i need to do is change the color just like so same i'll do right here as well control v and select the color control v All right, so that is looking pretty good. Let's go back into our main comp. And let's create a folder and name this pieces. Okay, I know the spelling is wrong. I'm very bad at renaming things. So I'll call this P P I E C E S. That is the correct spelling. Yeah. Okay, let's create a new composition 300 by 300. I'll call this P underscore O one for piece underscore o1 hit ok drag the our logo that is the reverse logo into that just like so and using the align tab i'm going to align it into a specific way just like so all right now what i can do is select the piece composition that is the p1 drag and drop it into the pieces folder and now let's create more three copies so hit ctrl d three times so we have total four copies I can select them and just double click to open them up go to the p2 and then change the position so i'll keep it something like that go into p3 i'll keep it just like that go into p4 and i'll keep it just like so now right now it, it doesn't make any sense but let's move forward with this let's create a new composition called this animation and again, I'll set this to 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS. Hit OK. And now what I can do is go into the icons folder, drag and drop in the icon number one. Also make sure to turn this 3D. So make, make this 3D, create a new null object. This is gonna be 01. And make this 3D as well. Let's add a parent option to this. First of all, scale the icon. So hit S and scale this to 70% and i'm gonna hit a control r on the keyboard to bring up the guides or the rulers and then just drag them like so try to be as precise as possible while doing this i'm just gonna zoom in a lot and just try to be just pixel perfect almost close enough also turn on the snapping so the icon snaps in at the corners just like so that is looking good. Now I can parent this to the null that we created just like that. Okay, let's create a new camera really quick. Make this 35 millimeters, hit okay. Hit control R to hide the rulers. Okay, that is looking good. Now let's go to somewhere around maybe 10 frames. Select the layer, the icon layer, hit P to bring down the position properties. Create a keyframe, go back at zero frames and let's drag this out of the frame just like so 
Now we have a pretty simple animation. Now to make it look really nice and bouncy, I'm going to use a script. I'm going to use an expression or a script actually that I have and I'll provide the complete project file into the description so you can download the project file with the expression that I'm using. So I'll copy this, hit control C, hold alt and click on the stopwatch of the position and hit control V. Now we have something like this. You get this really nice bounce as you can see and that is what I am going for. Now let's go to around maybe 2 seconds and 10 frames. Select the icon, hit P to bring down the position properties again, create a keyframe, hit R to bring down the rotation properties, create a keyframe on the X rotation and then I'm going to hit U so we can see just the keyframes. Go to around 4 seconds, let's set the rotation to minus 180 degrees. So we have a pretty simple rotation just like that. Then I'll go to around 3 seconds. Set the position in the Z to minus 500. So we have a little bit of zoom. Go to 4 seconds and let's set this to 0. So now we have a pretty interesting animation as you can see. So once we have this, what I can do is duplicate this layer. So hit control D to duplicate it and then replace the icon one with the piece one composition. That is the P1. So select them, hold alt and drag and drop it. So now we have something like this. Now let's hit U so we can see just the keyframe of both the layers go right here and then hold alt and open square bracket to crop this up. Select this, hold alt and close square bracket. So now we have something like this, you can see, and this is what I'm going for. Pretty simple. Looks very nice. I'm going to select the keyframes of this two actually. Go into the graph editor, go into the center again, just like we did before and create a peak. So we have a much more interesting animation. So I'll go right here and tweak this a bit. Now you can see that is looking much better. Now what I can do is select this. First of all, select these three layers and change the color so that we can see them more properly. Select them, hit control D to duplicate it, bring this below change the color to a different color and then I can replace the P1 with the P2 holding alt and just dragging and dropping it and change the icon 1 with icon 2. Alright and then what I can do is go to around 2 seconds where we can see the complete frame select the null object and then drag it just like so. I'm going to try to be as precise as possible I don't want any gaps in between. Okay, that is looking much better. And I'm going to repeat the same process again. Select them, hit control D, put this below, change the icons, change the color to something like maybe let's go with a yellow color, change the P2 with P3 and icon 2 with icon 3. Then I can again select the null object, bring this below. Just like so. Yep, that is perfect. Select this, hit control D, pull this below again, change the color of this one, maybe red. Replace the P3 with P4 and the icon 3 with icon 4. And then I can select the null object and drag this just like that. Okay, let's hide the layers. Control shift H to hide them. Now I can see a bit difference right here. So I can select them and using the arrow keys, I can just tweak them a little bit. Try to bring them as close as possible. So now we have something like this, which looks pretty interesting. There we have our logo and I can see some defects in that. So what I can do is I can select the null. So it's null three and use the arrow keys to fix this. Okay, there we go looking nice now it's a bit too simple so we can displace them a bit so what we can do is go to around 10 frames select the these three layers that we have and hold shift and drag them 
just that day snaps in into the position go to 20 frames select this select this three and just put it just like so there we go let's see what we have now and there we go there we have our nice and interesting logo animation I think they are a bit too slow so maybe I'll keep them at just 5 frames just like that let's see yep that is looking much better I think and sorry for this you know harsh voice my I I'm having a bit of throat uh, infection you can say or a throat itchiness because of that I'm not able to speak speak properly I'm getting a lot of tongue slips and you know the voice is not that proper just bear with me for this tutorial I know it's hard to hear but yeah probably it will get okay by maybe in a day or two and by the way my birthday is there on 28 October that is Sunday so I hope my voice gets um, you know my throat gets fine before that all right, so let's actually move forward with the tutorial. Let's close all the unnecessary composition. We don't want them. Let's drag the main compos. Let's drag the animation composition into our main composition. Let's hit Control Y to create a new solid. I'll call this BG for background. Hit OK. Put this in the back and let's add a nice drop shadow onto our animation. Let's set the distance to around 100 and softness to somewhere around 300 and for the opacity I'll go with something like 12 very minimal subtle you can see it looks very very nice and one more thing I need to fix is you can see the After Effects and Illustrator logo animates properly but the Audition and Photoshop logo doesn't actually changes before it flips at the at a complete 90 degree stop so to fix this what we can do is go a bit forward when the logo is completely flat maybe around somewhere around there and let's select this drag it and let's drag this back so now it should work properly yeah that is what i'm looking for same with the illustrator the audition logo as well you can see it changes before the flip of that layer so I'll go right here just bring this maybe a maybe a frame or two and that is looking perfect so that is all you need to do for creating this nice and minimal logo animation and it's pretty simple as you saw very easy to create and I hope you create your own logo animation using this now if you find the defects you can just switch to full res so it you know because at half it sometimes shows some of the lines like you can see it's barely visible but if you sit if you switch to full res you can see it's proper so it's nice simple and easy to create and i hope you create your own logo animation using this technique and if it did then also you know just ping me with a link upload it on youtube and just you know email me with the link or you can also drop a message me you can drop a message on instagram i'm highly active on instagram at dope.motion so make sure to follow me there and i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw stay creative